Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just kind of want to do a quick little video here. Uh, well, yesterday I went ahead and uh, started the conversion on my Saiga 410. Uh, you know, I got all the parts taken off and everything, and then today I went ahead and uh, put a second coat of uh, spray paint on the uh, underneath of the receiver right here. Because uh, for those of you that know that don't know, uh, when you do a conversion on these Sega rifles or shotguns, underneath on the the receiver, uh, it's bare metal because you know they're you know with the old trigger guard and uh, and everything, like it's like a plate that's kind of over it, and uh, once you take the old trigger guard off, which is connected to the plate, uh, you know it's just bare metal. They didn't like re they didn't. Uh, from the factory, they didn't uh, finish it or nothing, so they just kind of left it bare under here. So once you take it off, um, you know it's just bare metal. So what I did with my rifle, the 2G3 Sega, and uh, and with this one, the 410, I just you know hit it up with some spray paint. And the the, the 2G3 rifle, it, it it's been holding up very nicely. I haven't noticed any you know the paint chipping or nothing. And it's not like it really gets hot on, on on the receiver or nothing, so you don't have to worry about it melting off or nothing. And you're not really getting this beat up as much as you would like the side of the receiver. Uh, so you don't have to worry really worry too much about using anything durable. Uh, so yeah, I went in and stripped all the parts out of it and take the old trigger group and stuff like that out of the gun. And uh, so yeah, right now it's just all bare and. Right now it's unfunctional. You know, it won't function now because I don't have any of the parts. There's the ones away that you don't need, you know. But uh, but uh, today I went in and uh, you know ordered the parts and everything that I needed. Uh, the new trigger guard. It's just a bolt-on. Uh, I opted for just like with the rifle, just a traditional rounded uh, trigger guard. Uh, and ordered the trigger group for it, the new Taco G2, and also the little uh, pieces of rubber that goes into the uh, holes where the old uh, trigger assembly was. And there's like two pins that you know go through here, or the head went through there. But since you take that out, uh, these holes are left, and uh, then with those little rubber pieces, you put them in there and kind of heat them from the back to kind of melt them so they can. Uh, stay inside the receiver or they won't come off of it or nothing and in, in the end they kind of look like you know parts of the rivets you know they look like extra rivets basically but uh, anyways so if you haven't been watching my channel I, I opted for the uh, Tapco uh, Galil side holder you know a lot of people you know I see they use the the T6 classable and I kind of want it a little be different I want to be different than everybody else and uh and also, well, this this was actually on my Wasser 10, and uh, I thought you know the fixed stock was better on the Wasser 10, and uh, since it's a rifle, and you know, with the shotgun, it would make more sense with uh, you know the side folder and everything, and you know with the 410, you know for home defense and stuff, you know there's literally like no recoil to this gun at all, and it would be easy to you know shoot it one-handed if I wanted to, or you know like kind of up you know high. And without the stock, you know, and kind of somewhat aiming, and you don't have to worry about recoil or nothing. Uh, pistol grip was also for my Wasser 10. I changed that on that on that gun, and this is uh, the one from Sentry Arms. This one that they put on there, and uh, you know, I'm happy with these grips. You know, they're not the the best in the world, but you know what? I I don't have a problem with these grips at all. You know, I find them sure for me at least. They're they're pretty comfortable, fit my hand pretty good, so. That's what I'm using for this gun, and uh, yeah, and I got an extra side mount, uh, scope rail for the side. And I'm gonna put an inexpensive red dot, and then uh, I'm gonna sight this gun in with uh, slugs and everything, and uh, you know, so it'll be a little funner. I can shoot at some targets a little farther away with slugs, and it's better. Uh, with that red dot than these crappy, you know, iron sights, which kind of suck. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then, you know, on the, the scope mount, it has, like, on, on the side, 
uh, another rail and I'm going to put a flashlight, an expensive LED. I don't need nothing too fancy. And again, like with the recoil and stuff, which is very minimum, none really at all with the 410. Uh, I'm just, you know, you don't need no fancy, you know, high shock proof or type of, you know, uh, flashlight, you know. Uh, and this, I'm kind of going to go towards my uh, home defense inventory. Uh, I thought it would be kind of cool to have for home defense and, uh, you know, especially loaded up with some pretty good shells, you know. Uh, it won't be as over penetrating as a, you know, a 12 gauge shotgun, you know. And plus it's semi automatic. And uh, once uh, eventually I get the uh, 15 round magazine for it, then it'll be a pretty good amount of firepower in a, in a nice little package. So, uh, and then as far as the foreign, I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, as I said previous, uh, I'm pretty happy with it, you know, to be honest. And I'm not trying to go all to, like, tactical completely like a lot of people do with rails and vertical grips, you know. I'm just kind of doing a, a basic version, have a little, actually, you know, different features, you know, and just everything that I'm going to put on here is going to have, uh, you know, a purpose. You know, it's going to serve a purpose. Uh, again, with the... the with the handguards, it serves its purpose, you know, I don't really need a forward vertical grip, you know, especially with the 410, and uh, plus I'm trying not to go too tactical or nothing, you know, keeping it basic, you know, with the side folding stock, of course, you need a stock and then also a side folder to make it a little more maneuverable in the house, um, you know, again, the red dot would be good for uh, longer range targets and also, you know, uh, even just with birdshot or buckshot, you know, for home defense, uh, be able to see the, the sights, you know, at least kind of have an idea where you're aiming. And also the flashlight, uh, you know, to have. And I think that will serve a great purpose, too, for home defense so you can see what the hell you're shooting at. You know, God forbid somebody came in. So, uh, yeah, basically I'm just doing, trying not to get this gun real heavy and all balked out or, you know, all a uh, bunch of weight on top of it to... Uh, make it, you know, have too heavy. Uh, it's going to be simple, you know, light, everything that, you know, is going to be on it. And again, like I said, it's going to serve a purpose. And, uh, yeah, for those who haven't seen, you know, the inside of, you know, these 410 shotguns, I'll go ahead and show you a couple of the parts. This is the bolt. And you can see it's a little, a lot different than a traditional AK bolt. Of course, you know, the locking lugs and stuff are kind of the same, you know. Of course, just different. And then uh, here's the uh, piston, and then uh, which is kind of the same compared to the other ones, except for the uh, sagas are a little smooth as far as you know, right there in the head. And uh, here's the uh, carrier, and it's uh, opened up right here on the top. It's kind of hard to see, but. Not showing up too well, but basically, it's basically your regular type of AK uh, bolt carrier, except for it's you know for a 410. And uh, of course, you know with the spring recoil spring, you got that this piece on here. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. Just uh, kind of a little boring update here, but just kind of. Uh, Showing that I already finally, finally started on the converting, and I just gotta wait for those parts to come in and uh, sew everything together, and uh, it'll be done as far as you know functioning wise. And again, I just gotta need to get the red knot, uh, high capacity, you know, well not high capacity, but you know, 15 round magazine, and oh, and also uh, uh, muzzle brake. Uh, that's gonna be probably one of the later purchases. Right now, it just has the muzzle nut thread protector. I'm not going to worry about chokes since this is a short barrel, 19 inch barrel, and it's not good for you know any type of uh, purposes like that in my opinion. This is more close range. And uh, I'm going to put some kind of cool muzzle brake on it eventually uh, with the, like, like spikes or something like that, you know. And uh, you know, that, that's probably going to be about it. And eventually, maybe, maybe I may Duracoat, not the gun, but just the stock, the pistol grip. And the forearm, maybe like a OD green, and leave the, the metal and everything else like that black. Uh, I may do that, you know, just to have the furniture uh, like an OD green. I think that might look kind of cool, but who knows what will happen. All right, well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.